this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your IONOS webmail to your free Gmail. A lot of people will have a free Gmail that they did with their company. Like if I was doing webexly at gmail.com, which is not associated with my domain, it means I have a free Gmail account. A lot of us love using Gmail. So if you're not on a G Suite or a workspace and you're using a Gmail, this video is going to be for you. I'll show you how easy it is to connect. So inside of your mel.ionis.com site, you have your login and password to get you in. So you should have that ready. And then what you're going to want to do is right here where it says other email programs, click on this pop and IMAP. And this is going to give you all your settings. This is all your email settings, your ingoing and your outgoing server settings. So what we're going to first do is when we go to Gmail, we're going to go into settings. We're going to look for the all settings. We want to be able to see everything we can. And the first thing that you want to do is enable your pop or IMAP. All I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to enable. So it says pop is enabled, IMAP is enabled, and you want these to show enabled. And then you're going to select save changes. Now we've got our IMAP and our pop enabled. We're going to go back into settings, click settings. And now what we want to do is go to the accounts and import tabs. And this is where you'll be able to see send another email. So we want to add another email address. Using your IONIS email that you have, what you're going to do is come over here and click add email address. This awesome screen is going to pop up right here. You're going to put in the name and then we would put in this one was, uh, we called it 365 connect. So let's go do this 365 connect. Then we'll go ahead and we'll put in our email address that we created on the video before, which was team at 365connect.io. We're going to go ahead and check treat it as an Elias. We'll go ahead and click next step. And then right here, you're going to see how it's asking you to configure. It's asking you for the SMTP server settings, your username, which is going to be your IONIS email, and then your password that you use to get into IONIS. So let's go ahead and go back to the IONIS configuration. And what we're looking for is the SMTP, which is the outgoing server. So I'm just going to hit control or command copy. We'll go ahead and hit next steps. What we're going to do is we're going to paste that SMTP dot ionis.com and then we're going to put in our email which is the team at 365 email and then our password that we use to log in to the ionis webmail all right we're going to go ahead and make sure it says secured we're going to go ahead and hit add account what's going to happen is it's going to send you a code which should go to your email. So let's see, let's go ahead and go into Iona's email. All right, we're gonna go ahead and log in. We should have that. I'm not gonna save this password. Okay, so here is our Gmail it's saying, okay, let's confirm it's you. So we're gonna click on that confirmation. It's gonna say, please confirm, confirm. So let's go back over. So you can return to Google Gmail. Let's go ahead and just click on the tab to go back into Gmail. We're gonna see now that this is now listed. And it should, if I refresh this, should be verified. Now, what you can do is you can make this your default email or you can edit the information. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as not default. Now, the other configuration that we need to do is our incoming. This is your outgoing. So if I were to compose a message, I could select that I want to send it from my outgoing email right here and send an email using the new email I just set up. So I can send it from my business email or my personal. But what we do need to do is send up being able to add mail accounts so we get them incoming. So we've got two settings when you look at your Iona setting, mail.iona, so you can see. And down here, we're going to go to the pop. So we just set up what we call as our outgoing server. Now we want to set our incoming server. So we know it's an IMAP and we know it's set for 993 and 143. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Gmail settings. We have the reply so we can send email using our domain, but now we want to get incoming email. Check mail for other accounts. So you're going to do add email. This is going to pop up. We're going to put in that same email address. And when you click it, you're going to hit next. Now it's going to say import emails from another pop three. We're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to say our username, which we already know the username is our email address, our password again, and then the pop server, which is also the IMAP server. 
leave a copy. We'll leave it as a backup on the other server and we'll leave it labeled incoming message to this. And I'm going to go ahead and click on add account. Now we have an incoming email account. So you'll see I sent a couple of cool emails. So we've got the Gmail team, send mail. We've got another email. So I sent some cool stuff. So we've done our confirmations. Just make sure you've done it for your incoming. Here it is before you can send mail. Let's just make sure everything is confirmed. So we got that email. We got our confirmation. Yep, all is good. So we're all connected. And then you see that we got the other email from team which is also here, and another email. So let's go back to your Ionis email as if you are logged in. You'll see all the emails are still here. I'll go ahead and refresh. You'll see every email, all the test emails are here as backup. So you'll always be able to log into your webmail as well. But guess what? Now they are officially showing up on your Gmail. An email comes in, whether it's a lead from your website or something really cool. Here's the email that came in. I want to reply. So watch what happens when I reply. It's going to reply from whatever I selected. So whatever you select is your default email, but you do get personal email. So when you go to reply, just don't reply from your personal. All you got to do is reply from your team. I also believe that you can do settings in here as well to say reply reply to the email account. Here it is. Always reply from the same message it was sent. That is going to be back in accounts and imports. And now that we have sending and receiving, we want to go ahead and hit reply from the same email address. That should save for us. Let's go ahead and go back in. And then let's say we're going to reply from this. We hit reply and look, it's going to show the same email that came in. Just to recap, make sure you're POP and IMAP is enabled. This must be enabled and make sure you hit save to save the changes. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into accounts import. You're going to do a send import. So you'll have to put your SMTP here and then you'll hit a reply import where you'll have to add and see how you can keep adding other email addresses. Maybe you've got you and three other people and they don't check their email and you're managing them all. This is where you would go to add each email and each email and each reply. Just make sure the final recap, select this reply from the email address was sent to. That way you never have to worry about coming in here and selecting that reply drop down. It just will automatically do it for you. But again, if you want to change it and send it from a different email, you can always click on the from drop down and select your multiple emails. That's it for setting up with Gmail. Gmail has a lot of awesome, great features. You can create certain categories. You can also create folders, some really cool stuff in here. This will at least be able to still use all your cool Gmail features access your shortcuts to your YouTube, your Google business, anything that you have set up in Google. This makes it great and easy to manage all of your emails from one spot.